The last time the Politburo met in November, it expelled then Vice President Emerson Mnangagwa. On Wednesday, Mnangagwa chaired the powerful gathering, this time as president. He will also officiate the ZANU-PF Extraordinary Congress on Friday. The final touches are being put to the Robert Mugabe Square, the venue for the ZANU-PF Extraordinary Congress. 6,000 delegates will meet in a compacted program which has been cut down from an initial six days to three days. The budget for the event has also been slashed, coming down from $8 million to $3 million, signaling President Mnangagwa's intent to reduce spending. Three items are on the agenda. To confirm Emerson Mnangagwa as party leader, to endorse him as its candidate in next year's presidential election, and to ratify resolutions passed by the Central Committee, including the expulsion of former First Lady Grace Mugabe and the reinstatement of all members expelled since 2014. The Congress is expected to heal the factionally riven party. We want the Politburo to make a commitment to unite the party, uh, there is no more time for divisions, no more time for tribalism, no more time for nepotism. We expect uh, the leadership to commit to serious business of rebuilding the party and committing to bring programs that would develop the nation. Under Mnangagwa's leadership, ZANU-PF is seeking to win over the electorate by reviving the economy and improving social service delivery. The new dispensation was rejuvenated and reignited confidence and support across the nation. This is a good indicator of where the party will be in 2018 as we hold harmonized elections. ZANU-PF Central Committee will hold a final meeting ahead of the main Congress on Friday. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.